A lot of you Taurus have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Fool. A lot of you have a sense of flying, right? Weightlessness. Because a lot of you Taurus are on a very evolved level right now. Um, because things are working for you, you know? The Six of Pentacles, your health is good, right? As well as your financials are good. Your mental state is good. You don't have people around you that would otherwise stress you out so the six of pentacles you know you're being fruitful things are actually looking up you know you actually want you actually like how your life is going you actually want to to socialize right now and the thing is that the fool right you're able to actually socialize the way that you want to you know because when a lot of things are going bad it's difficult for you to to make to to be as uh, open and welcoming, you know, than when things are going good for you, right? Right, and you're open to meet somebody. You're open to date, definitely. The King of Wands and the Three of Cups, however, is about how, since that's the case, the, the, the King of Wands and the Three of Cups is you being in a situation where, um, uh, so you have options, okay? You have options as well. Some of you may have some people that you've gotten to know, I know a lot, you know, Taurus is not really a zodiac sign that particularly has problems really getting to know, or I should say meeting new people. Y'all are ruled by Venus, right? You, Libra, and then Pisces is the higher octave of of Libra, right? And, and, and you know, Neptune is the higher octave of Venus. So y'all, y'all, you Taurus don't really have a problem being in a, you know, trying to get to know new people. Y'all don't have a problem doing that. The, the, the thing about it is that when it comes to keeping them, that's where things go crazy because those people don't necessarily want what you may want. But you, Taurus, definitely have options. And you are exercising those options because the Page of Cups represents you going out on a couple of dates or trying to get to know somebody I'll say this though, right? I'll say this. If you are not getting to, if, if someone does not get around straight to the, to, to the point of what it is that they're talking to you, because from my understanding, a lot of you Taurus are in a situation, right? Where people, like I said before, people will exchange numbers with you and y'all will be talking to the person, but the person won't actually get anything established. They won't get anything done. They won't reach any kind of milestones. They'll just be talking to you. <laughs> and, uh, and and that frustrates you, Taurus. So what it is that I suggest you Taurus do, like I've been talking about, is for you to pull the trigger on that. For you to say, hey, listen, do you want to go hang out? And then if the person, when you hang out, and if the person is still coming from that perspective that you have to be the one to do everything, then you cut them off because that's not how relationships get started. And this is what I mean when I say that there's too many chicken squats. The idea that the two of y'all exchange numbers and then they calling you and they're like, hey, what's going on? What's up? You know, I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling and whatnot. Then the next time they do the same stuff. I'm just, what's, what's going on? What's up? I'm just chilling. Yo, you want to hang out or not? You, you, you're going to pull the trigger or not? You're going to say something or not? You're going to do something or not? No. Okay, then. So what are we doing? What are we doing? Why do we have each other's numbers? Because truth be told, Taurus, if the person gave you that number and they're not pulling the trigger, that means that you need to do the very same thing, right? Metaphorically speaking. Because why do y'all have each other's numbers then? Like I am not gonna have someone's numbers and someone's number in my phone that I'm not gonna use. But you'll have people who will use, who will have someone's number in their phone that they will not use. They'll call, they'll call, but then they'll they'll right. Sometimes they will call, right, or they will call, but they'll never actually get anything done. What are you doing? So now you have the high priestess, which is Taurus and the Virgo. Right? You will have to read people like a book. And how it is that you're able to do that, right? 
And how it is that you're able to do that is by, again, trying to establish something. But also people have to learn to, to, to take the initiative themselves because the high priestess represents, this is what the relationship is going to be, right? You should be trying, you and them should be trying to get to know each other, right? Alone. Or I should say the two of you should be trying to get to know each other out and about to be able to build up the trust with each other to actually want to hang out with the person to see what they are like alone with you in that regard. But the high priestess and the wheel of fortune represents, but to, for some of these choices that you have, you will realize that talking to them for, for any more length of time, talking to them anymore is a waste of your time because some of you tourists may have a lot of these people's numbers, like I said, and they're not doing anything with it. So you will have to let them go. Or like it is, I said before, you'll have to ask them out because there's too many people who are too chicken squat to do any kind of approaching or, or do anything. And then and then they just lay back. Well, I'm not going to do it. So how are you going to get it established if the other person don't do, do it? Well, I'm going to dump them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flake. I'm going to... You just perpetuating the games. So the two of wands and the king of swords now is about how um, yeah, it, it, it represents how because you have a, a, a good understanding of how things are and that don't allow these people to get you to think that you're tripping because you, you know this you know that if a person freezing and being scared to talk to you, scared to get anything established, that's that's a power struggle. That's not how relationships is gonna give is gonna work. And you're right. There's been far too many people that I have known myself that, you know, I have stopped talking to in that sense that told me that I was tripping. But you're not putting in work. You're not doing anything. You why are you confused? Why are you bewildered that you're not putting in any kind of work? You're you're lazy. I'm the one that's doing the calling, texting. You're not doing anything, and then you really that lost to be sitting up there talking about well, 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 why are you tripping? Why are you so upset? Because you don't do anything. What do you do? Right. And you can imagine how frustrating that must be, because this is the same scenario. This is why they single. This is why, you know, this person that I'm talking about is single. But you, Taurus, don't need to have these people in your life. Ghost them or tell them. Right. Ghost them or try to start something with them. Right. Or tell them you don't want to talk to them anymore so that there's no kind of, you know, them playing as if they don't understand what the situation is. So guess what it is that you do when you tell them that then they'll understand to stop calling you and go move on to somebody else. So dub them and keep it moving. So let's clarify some of these cards. Right. Move on to another one of the cups. Another one of the people that, you know, are your options. Let's clarify the King of Swords. Nine of Wands, the Fool, Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords. Right. Right. Nine of Wands, the Fool for you, uh, Taurus. Because you, right, you, you're way too experienced to go through that. Like, people, this is how they act. This is why I put so much of an emphasis on everybody need to stop being so scared because it's, it's, it's lame to see grown people who, uh, you know, yeah. should I call them? No, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to just do this or whatnot. But how are you going to be in a relationship that way? Want to be in a relationship, some of these people you know, Taurus, but uh, I, I'm just not going to do anything. I'm going to have this person do it. But, but, you must come out of your shell at some point 
Because to be in a relationship, the two of you have to do things together, right? So what do you expect? You expect this person to do all the planning, do all the paying for the, for the, for the, for the dates, do all of this, do all of that while you sit back and you and your show. And I'm not saying you, but I'm saying them while they sit back, right? You, Taurus, do all the work while they sit back and be in a show. This is why these games don't work. Because it looks like the other person is confused out of their mind. They're lost in the sauce and they're stupid and they're counterproductive. This is why people who play games don't get taken seriously because everybody, everybody who knows what it is, knows that those people are scared chicken squats. And the eight of cups and the ten of swords is a representation of you, Taurus, leaving these these scurred people alone and continuing to keep your beautiful op or your wonderful options open because you don't have the time to be even trying to talk to somebody that's too scared to to hang out with you let alone kiss you let alone be in a relationship with you they too goofy 